Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Edgecraft. I'm your host, Matt, and today we've got an exciting episode. So what I want to do is I'm going to build a zombie farm today. Now, the spider farm I built was good, but, um, you know, it's kind of far away. And um, I don't know, the experience I was getting from it just wasn't great. The drops, I mean, the drops are good if you want string. But zombies are just so much easier to farm. And right over here, not too far away from our base, is oops, <laughs> where um, the top of that zombie spawner uh, hole needs to be dug. Right here. I put a little, uh, I don't know, totem, whatever you want to call this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down to our uh, zombie spawner. And um, I will be back with you when I've done that because we're going to create a zombie farm today. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, and we're down here, and that didn't take long at all, actually. It's um, pretty close to the surface, which is excellent. So I can do this really quick and easy. Um, so the first thing I need to do is just clear out this room. Uh, there's a zombie nearby. I can hear him. I just don't know where he's at. Um, but I need to clear out this space and um, make it just like the spider farm with a couple spots above and um, four in each direction. So I need, you know, one, two, three, four, like that. And I need one, two, three, four, like this. And I'm going to do this and I will be right back with you. Okay, so we've got the room dug out, and we've got our little spawner uh, waiting for us. Uh, I've dug a trench down here, and uh, we're going to put a water bucket here and a water bucket here so that the water flows in here. i got some soul sand ready to go, and this is going to be our elevator that shoots them up to the top. Um, so what I need to do is I need to get some water. So um, I will be back in just a moment with uh, water for this place. All right. Okay, and I'm back with my water. So um, I am ready to get started here, um, which means I probably, ooh, I probably need to get rid of some of these torches. This is going to get a bit dangerous. Uh, you know, I think I want to make this water elevator first yeah i'm gonna need to do that so let me get rid of this soul sand real quick and i'm gonna put some dirt down and that way i can get out of here real quick when i need to um so what i want to do is i want to put some water there and there and uh kelp you know, I really need to get up to the top, don't I? I need to get all the way up to the top. Well, I could do this the hard way. That's okay. Let's go up and put a bucket of water. And then just put kelp going up. And now I can pick up a bucket of water like that. And put another bucket way up there. This is going to take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't be so horrible. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just got to keep building it up and up and up and up. And actually, I got a few buckets here. Why don't I just see if I can't go all the way up to the top with this. Let's see... And there we go. Yeah, that's good. All the way up, and then I could just build the kelp straight up to the top. There we go. All right, time to go down. Place my kelp. And create all of these source blocks. Okay, and here's where we pop out. And obviously, we're going to have to create a... Um, a tunnel for them to go up and come down and then splat. But I'm not ready to do that just yet. So right now, I'm just going to head on back down. I'm going to break my uh, kelp here. There we go. 
I'm going to replace that with our soul sand. And now we should have a nice little water elevator. Now, oh, I've only got one bucket of water left. I really need at least two. Let's see, can I steal? Hmm. I don't think I can, because if I steal that, yeah, it's not a, um, it's not a water elevator anymore. Okay, let's do this. Steal another block. We're going to put the dirt back down. Okay, okay, okay. Dirt goes back down. Kelp goes back on there. All right. Break those. Break that. And then... Bubble elevator? Sweet. All right, it works. Okay. So it is time. This is going to be fun. Um, hmm. I need an infinite water source here. Just temporarily. Just to fill up all my buckets. There we go. So that I've got enough to get by here. Good. I can fill that in. Don't need infinite water anymore. All right, bucket there. And a bucket, oh, not there. Here creates infinite water there. And then there. And then there, not there, there. And then there. Now I've got water all along the back, all the way down. I can put my water, water bucket there. I can put a water bucket here. Not, not there. Down here. And now everything should flow nicely right into there and into the bubble column. So now the last step is to get rid of these torches, which is a bit scary, but we can do this. We will survive. I mean, at least these zombies don't poison us like those spiders did. So, all right, let me break the torches one at a time. Um, I feel like I'm going to die. I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> okay, okay. All the torches. All right, now we just have the ones on the zombie spawner. That one and... That one, and that one, and... All right. And we officially have zombies. All right, zombie, out of the way. Uh, yeah. Now, these zombies are gonna start coming up quickly, so I want to create a little... Uh, there we go. That should protect us from any zombies that want to come up. I'm curious why there are zombies coming up right now, but that's okay. We'll figure that out later. Next up, we need to build um, our little uh, system for um, the zombies. So we're going to build a little uh, tunnel going up, and I want to build this up nice and high because um, I want them to drop down. So um, we're going to make them drop right around there-ish. So what have we got so far? We've got one, two, three, four, five, oops, I'm out of glass there, here we go, five, six, what, what is this? tree by the way i bit the bullet and i built myself a diamond axe and i enchanted it so we now have an axe which i am excited about wasn't happy to spend some diamonds on it but i needed wood and so we went for it all right so let's see we got uh go there we go there we go was it 
that's six now, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, Oh man, I'm gonna have to remake my elevator, aren't I? I am. Okay, well, we'll do that. 16. And 18. And that should be uh, good for our purposes because, oops, I don't want a glass piece there. What we're going to do next is we're going to make a little tunnel that the zombies will um, flow through. So we got this like this. I uh, don't really want a piece of glass there, but I'll break that in a second. This will be our top. And so the zombies will travel forward just a couple of blocks, not too far. Just like this, and I'm building this all out of glass so we can see it happen, because I like to watch my zombies go up and fall to their death. And then, um, let's see, Ooh, let's use a little bit of dirt real quick. Put that there, put a piece of glass here. Um, no, I keep misplacing this is why I need silk touch because I keep misplacing this glass all right just like this just like that and then we need to yeah but I'll I'm gonna probably fall to my death if I if I go there so I'm gonna go here onto oh I'm still gonna oh ouch fall to my death that wasn't much better was it all right um, any zombies? No zombies. I feel like this is uh, a problem. Hmm. Okay. We'll get that fixed up. So, all right. So, I got my tube going up and something coming down. Uh, it is nighttime. I'm going to go sleep. I'll be back. Okay. So, I may have had a small issue. Um, <laughs> and that small issue may have been that I drowned. Yeah, I, um, I did not, uh, do that very well. So, we're gonna grab a pickaxe and some cobblestone. We're gonna go back over there, and all of our stuff is probably, I don't even know where it is. It's probably at the top of the water elevator. Um, floating. But who knows? Could be at the bottom of the water elevator. I died in the middle of the water elevator, going to the top of the tower. Uh, suffocated to death, drowned. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, um, so let's see where our stuff is. At least it's all nice and contained inside of a glass uh, chute, huh? Alright, let's see. Um, oh, what are you, what are you doing? I, it's daytime. You're not supposed to attack me. Ugh. Good. Don't attack me. All right. Nothing in there. There it is. It's all at the top right there. So I need to break in here. And go get my stuff. Let's see. There we go. Up, up, and away. There we are. So, hopefully I don't uh, drown again while putting on my gear. Where's the rest of my stuff? Where's my shield? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, just losing my mind over here. Don't worry about me. All right. Uh... Okay, need to get out of here before I drown. All right, good. So, so, what what is your problem? Do you just want to die? Fine, die. There. 
Okay, um, let me get my stuff back together and I'll figure this out. Okay, so um, I got my stuff. I, um, the water elevator is basically done. I mean, I am ready to, um, to start killing these things. I just got to remove some water from there so that they fall to their death. Um, but I need to get back down in there somehow. Oh, because I don't know why it's not spawning. So this is going to be a little bit of an issue. Um, I don't... Oh, I guess I'll take the slime farm path. Yeah, I'll go down through the slime farm. All right, I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so here we are, and it's working just fine, as you can tell, but I figured out the issue that I'm having is I have to be close enough to the spawner that it actually um, works. And my, my drop platform is too high off the ground. I have to be within 16 blocks. So I'm going to have to um, do a little bit of adjusting here. Uh, so I came in here. This is going to be dangerous. Uh, I have one torch, but as soon as I knock that out, uh, it's going to be dark and you're not going to be able to see. So it's just going to be kind of intense. Um, I might be able to see a little bit. But uh, here we go. All right. Heading down over here. Zombies are all trying to kill me. Okay. Yep. Up we go. 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 I'm trying. I'm trying to find my way out. I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. I can't see where I'm at. Yeah. That was not a good idea. Not a good idea. I'm not sure why I did that. Not a good idea. Kind of surprised, though, because the zombies shouldn't have gone all the way up to the top. Because the bobble column didn't go that high, but I should have gone all the way to the top. So I should have been safe. I don't I don't understand. Hmm. I don't understand what happened there. Okay, so we have to be within 16 blocks, which means I gotta drop these guys all the way down. Oh, that's that's gonna be fun. Uh, oh, I blocked it. That's why. I forgot that I blocked it. Okay. Oh, I got all my stuff. Or most of it. I mean, that's good. Can I... Oh, look at that. He's wearing my armor. He's got my sword. He's got everything. Look at that guy. Well, that's just nice. Um... Uh, hey, buddy, I, I don't want you to have all my stuff. Can I have my stuff back, please? Like, now? Thanks. Uh, okay, so let's get out of this. Put on the gear that we can to get the rest of the gear. All right, so da, 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 da. good, 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 good. Got everything fantastic. All right, got all my stuff back. Uh, kind of interesting that this is doing what it's doing. Um, but whatever. Okay, so I did have the right idea though. Um, so it looks like everything is working, uh, but I do need to put kelp all the way up here now so that those are all source blocks and then oh I hope I don't drown I need to go back down here dig that out and when I dig that out it should create a bubble column all the way up. Uh, da, 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 da. 
is it creating a bubble column all the way up? Kind of looks like it. Maybe? Maybe not? Hmm. Oh, because of that one block that I had to... Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we gotta... We gotta be clever about this somehow. Um, I don't know. Do I have enough buckets of water? I only have two. Is that all it was needed? Is it working now? Oh, who knows? Who knows? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna break this. I'm gonna go up in there. Go up, go up, go up, go up. All the way up. Uh, I can't. Oh, I don't wanna die. I don't want to die. Okay. <sighs> Go up to the top. And let's see. Is this a bubble? No. This is not. Alright. I don't want to drown, so I need to get out of here fast. I got one bubble left. One bubble. Okay. Whew. That's how I drowned last time, by the way. Okay, um, I need more water. Nope, I don't. Okay, I need lots more water. Let's grab seven buckets full of water. This is getting uh, tiring. I, uh, I don't know. All right, I'm going to try to fix this, and I'll be back, because I'm sure you don't want to watch this. Okay, so I'm back in the uh, zombie spawning chamber. I created a little platform there that I can close off, so this will put me close enough. Um, what I need to do now is I need to destroy this soul sand uh, because this uh, is causing issues right now. Um, and I need to put in regular dirt and build the, uh, the kelp all the way up to the top again. But there are a bunch of zombies up there. Ah, and they're coming to kill me now. Um, which is scary. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of drowned. Hopefully there's none with tridents. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I saw gold drop, that's nice. Um, oh my goodness. I mean, you can see that it's going to work great when it's ready. It's just not ready yet. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Still more, still more. Okay, great. Ooh, and there's more, and there's more. This is, uh, this is crazy. Look at them. Look at them all. I don't know if you can see them or not. There's quite a few. You. I don't want to drown. I don't want to drown. All right, get my air back. Okay, back in and up. Come on, come on. No, I need to. I want to kill you, but I don't want to die. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, this is challenging. This is challenging. Okay. All right. So what I'm trying to do is I need to build kelp all the way up to the top. I need to go through my own system. I need to fall into the system, <laughs> which does not sound like fun, actually, now that I think about it. Um, and as soon as I'm able... I don't know. Can I jump that? No. Uh, give me a block over here. All right. Yeah, and then uh, come back here. So what I need to do is I need to make this safe to fall in. So I'll put a little bit of water in there so I don't die when I fall. There we go. That'll be good. And then... Uh, 
Okay. You guys ready for a battle? This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, drown. You that's a lot of zombies. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of zombies. Are there any more? I don't see any more. Oh, there's one. There's one. It's a baby. Alright. I got them all. Time for the kelp. Oh, okay. Alright. If I get this done, it should be pretty much done. Just gotta build the kelp up all the way to the top. All the way to the top without drowning. Without drowning. Okay. Made it. This pushes me over the edge. I fall. Not to my death because there's a water puddle there. Climb out of here. Whew. Put that back there. Turn this into soul sand again. All right, soul sand. I'll head back up, collect my kelp. Wherever it went. I don't know where my kelp is. Where's all my kelp? Ugh. Fall off the edge. There we go, there's my kelp. And break that out. All right. Now. Moment of truth, if I take away these torches... Oh, I need a path back up here. Uh... that be? That's not enough. Alright, I'll break that. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay, break the torches. Start the zombie spawner up again. And we will see... how it works. Oh, there's one way up there. Alright. Break. 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 And... I can't do it. Ah, got it. Okay. And... Break those. Break that. And get my cobblestone back out. Fill this in. Break that torch, and that torch, and that one, and that one. And is that all beautiful? Close that up, and now we'll see if zombies start falling. Are they going to fall? I don't know. I mean... They should be... Hmm. Oh! There they go! And you got one of my torches. Give me that torch back. Oh, look at that. Look at how perfect this is. I could put a hopper under there. I could put a chest, collect all the drops. This is good. Um... Hmm. I wonder if I need that slab. I probably do. That way they don't jump out and kill me. Um, but okay. So it works. Now, getting out and in. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm already at level 10. This is awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to build myself an exit out of here. And I will be back once I've done that. Okay, we made it back up, and I uh, built myself a little staircase. Uh, I'll have to build another water elevator to get up and down. But um, it looks like they're getting stuck right there, which I'm not happy about. So I want to get up there and fix that. Um, but uh, I don't really want to go that way. I'm going to go through the top. So I'm going to tower all the way up there. Hopefully I still got some glass on me, do I? Yeah, I've got some glass. Okay, good. 
And I'm going to be breaking some more glass. So the issue is that these signs are creating a spot where the zombies are not oh, hmm, getting pushed. So what if I change this a bit? I put the signs here instead. I've got a few signs left. If I change that to here and here instead, uh, let me put the um, the glass back. I'm probably gonna have to probably gonna fall um, when I do this, but I don't want to because I think there's zombies down there. So um, not sure how I ended up with an extra piece of kelp. That's interesting. All right, so if I break this and I break this, yeah, they get pushed right on down. Um, like I said, I think there's zombies down there, but all right, let's go for it. Okay, good. No zombies. They despawned. All right. The other issue that we've got, um, and I should have done this while I was already on top, but, oh well, is, um, like my little staircase. You're probably getting a little dizzy because I'm going around in circles, but, um, all right. My other issue is that uh, they're going to burn in the sun. No, they won't burn in the sun because they'll just flop right off. So I don't need to do anything about that. That's good. All right, so I just need to remove this, build myself a water elevator, and we are all set. Okay, I'll be back when I've done that. Okay, and so while we build those water elevators, I'm going to tell you a little story. This is from Matthew chapter 20, and it's a story about a mom talking to Jesus about two of his disciples who happen to be her sons. It says, Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came to Jesus with her sons and kneeling down asked a favor of him. What is it you want? He asked. She said, grant that one of these two sons of mine sit at your right and the other sit at your left in your kingdom. You don't know what you're asking. Jesus said to them, can you drink the cup I'm going to drink? We can, they answered. Jesus said to them, you will indeed drink from my cup, but to sit at my right or my left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom they have been prepared by my father. When the other ten disciples heard about this, they were indignant and the, with the two brothers. Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. All right, so let's talk about this story and what it's all about. So basically, um, mom comes to Jesus and she says, Hey Jesus, um, I got my two boys. They love you, but can you please make sure that one of them's at your right hand and one of them's at your left hand when you're up in heaven after all this is done? And actually, she doesn't really think this is going to happen in heaven. She thinks it's going to happen here on earth because Jesus is going to be some kind of conquering king and take over all of Jerusalem. And what Jesus says to her, well, first he says to the sons, um, are you able to drink from my cup? Basically like, oh, really? You're going to sit at my right and left. Are you willing to uh, to die and sacrifice yourself for all of man? And they, they say that they can. And he says, well, you will drink from my cup. Meaning, yeah, you, you will die. That is true. Because both of these guys are going to end up being martyred, which means killed for their faith, just for believing in Jesus. But what he says next is, but to sit at my right hand and to my left is not for me to grant. That's my father's role. So he's like, listen, I'm going to be sitting at my father's. Uh, right hand side and so you definitely can't have that spot and to my left uh, it will be dad and then to my right um, I, I don't have the authority um, I am God I am his son but uh, my father is already uh, predestined figured out exactly who that's going to be and what what that role looks like so I um, I'm sorry I can't do that well now all of the disciples get angry at these two. How dare you ask that? Probably because they wanted the spot. And Jesus has to have a sit-down talk with all of them. Like, listen, guys, guys, it's not about who's the greatest. You got this all backwards. It's about who's the least. 
I didn't come here to be great. I came here to die for you, to serve you. And you need to, you need to be like that. You need to serve one another. And so this was a bit of a slap in the face to all of them. And this is a lesson that they have quite a few times because they just don't get this. And they argue a lot about who's the greatest is. Um, and Jesus tells them straight up, listen, <laughs> if we want to have that contest, it's me. But I didn't even come here for that. I came here to serve you and you need to serve each other. So if you want to argue about something, argue about which of you is the least. And you can do that through your actions by serving one another. All right, let's get back to the uh, video. Okay, and there we have it. I've got a uh, hopper set up under there so that it goes into these chests. Um, I've got my elevators all set up so I can go up and down. I'll make those pretty in a little bit. Um, but now, check this out. I can just walk right on over to these zombies. I can swipe them. They can't hit me. I can hit them just fine. All of the experience comes to me. I'm already at level 18. This is great. I got a potato. <laughs> Yum. And um, all of their items go into here. I'm going to have a lot of rotten flesh, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice little uh, experience farm. I like the way this is uh, turning out. So um, I think that will probably... Oh, look at that. Raining. Beautiful. I think that will be it for today's episode. Um, don't mind me, I'm just getting up my bow in case uh, creepers attack. They've been attacking me every time I come through here. Um, but, like I said, that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like on the video and remember to subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Bye! <laughs>